In this lesson, we're going to focus on finding the difference quotient of a function. So let's say we have a function f of x and it's equal to 7x. What is the difference quotient of that function? Now, the difference quotient is represented by this formula. It's f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, we already have f of x is 7x, but what do you think f of x plus h represents? Well, all you got to do is replace x with x plus h. So it's 7 times x plus h. So this expression becomes 7x plus h, and then minus f of x, which is already just 7x, divided by h. Now, we need to distribute 7 to x plus h. So 7 times x, that's going to be 7x. And then 7 times h, so we're going to have plus 7h, and then minus the 7x that was already there. So 7x minus 7x, those two will cancel. And so we're left behind with 7h divided by h. And so h divided by h is 1, so they cancel, leaving behind 7. And so that's the answer. The difference quotient of 7x is 7. Try this example. Let's say that f of x is 5x plus 4. Go ahead and find the difference quotient of 5x plus 4. So first, let's find out what f of x plus h is going to be. So all you need to do is replace x with x plus h everywhere you see an x. So it's uh, 5 times x plus h plus 4. So let's replace this with that expression. And then f of x is just 5x plus 4. But we need to put that within the parentheses. So first, let's distribute the 5. So 5 times x is 5x. And then we have 5 times h, which is 5h, and then plus 4. And now we need to distribute the negative sign to everything inside the parentheses. So this is going to be negative 5x minus 4. So we could cancel 5x. 5x plus negative 5x adds up to 0. And we can cancel 4 and negative 4. So we're left with 5h divided by h. And so we could cancel h, leaving behind a final answer of 5. So the difference quotient of 5x plus 4 is equal to 5. Now here's another one that you could try. Let's say that f of x is equal to x squared. Determine the difference quotient of x squared. So first, let's determine what f of x plus h is going to be. So all we need to do is replace x with x plus h. So it's going to be x plus h squared. So we're going to have x plus h squared, and f of x is x squared divided by h. Now x plus h squared is the same as x plus h times another x plus h. So in this example, we need to FOIL. So let's multiply x by x. That's going to give us x squared. And then we have x times h. So that's simply xh. And then h times x. That's another xh. And then h times h is h squared. And then we have negative x squared. So x squared plus negative x squared adds up to 0. And then xh plus xh, that's 2xh. And then we have an h squared added to it, divided by h. Now once you get to this part, because both terms contain an h, you want to factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor. So if we take out h from the numerator, if you take away h from 2xh, it's just going to be 2x. And if you take away h from h squared, there's going to be 1h left over. 
And so what we can do is cancel these two h's. And so the difference quotient is going to be 2x plus h. So that's the difference quotient of x squared. It's 2x plus h. Now what about this one? The square root of x. Go ahead and determine the difference quotient. So f of x plus h is going to be the square root of x plus h. So as always, let's start with the formula. Now let's replace f of x plus h with the square root of x plus h. And f of x is simply the square root of x. Now what do you think we need to do at this point? If you have a radical, the best thing to do is to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the radical. The conjugate is going to look just like this, but with the opposite sign. So since we have a negative sign, we're going to use a plus sign. And whatever you do to the numerator of the fraction, you must do to the denominator of the fraction, so that the value of the fraction remains the same. Now let's FOIL. The square root of x plus h times the square root of x plus h, the square roots will cancel, giving us x plus h. And then we have the square root of x plus h times the square root of x, which I'm simply just going to write it like this. And then negative square root x times negative square root h, I mean square root x plus h. And then we have negative square root x times positive square root x, that's just negative x. So if you multiply the square root of x times the square root of x, it's equal to x. For instance, if you multiply the square root of 4 times the square root of 4, that's the square root of 16, which is 4. So the two square roots will cancel, leaving behind the stuff that's on the inside. Now, in the denominator, we simply have h times this stuff. The square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. So x and negative x will cancel. And these two terms, they're exactly the same, but they have opposite signs, so they will cancel as well. So here's what we have left over. All we have is an h on top, and then the same stuff on the bottom. So now we could cancel h. h divided by h is 1. So the final answer is 1 divided by the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. So that's the difference quotient of the square root of x. Now the next example we're going to work on is 1 over x. So f of x plus h is going to be 1 over x plus h. So let's calculate the difference quotient. So f of x plus h, that's 1 over x plus h, and then minus f of x, or 1 over x. Now, if you have a complex fraction like this, the best thing to do is to multiply the top and the bottom by the common denominator of these two fractions, which will be x and x plus h. Now, when you multiply 1 over x plus h by x times x plus h, the x plus h terms will cancel, leaving behind 1 times x, which is simply x. Now, when you multiply 1 over x by this, x will cancel, leaving behind x plus h with a negative sign in front of it. So it's going to be negative x plus h. Then everything in the bottom just rewrite it together. So we have an x, an h, and an x plus h. The order in which we write it doesn't matter. Now we do need to distribute the negative sign. So it's going to be negative x minus h. Positive x and negative x will add up to 0. And so this will leave behind negative h divided by x times h times x plus h.
Now let's cancel h. So the final answer will be negative 1 divided by x times x plus h. So that's the difference quotient of 1 over x. This is going to be the last example. Let's say f of x is 3x squared plus 4x minus 5. Calculate the difference quotient. So let's start with the formula f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So what is f of x plus h in this example? Well, everywhere you see an x, replace it with x plus h. So it's going to be 3 times x plus h squared plus 4 times x plus h minus 5. So all of this is f of x plus h. Then we need to subtract that by f of x, which is what we have here. So let's put all of that inside of parentheses. Now we need to FOIL x plus h squared. From a previous example, when we multiplied x plus h by x plus h, if you recall, we got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. But if you want to see it worked out real quick, here it is. So it's going to be x times x, which is x squared, and then x times h, that's xh. h times x is also xh h times h is h squared. Then these two you add together, 1 plus 1 is 2, so you get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So now let's distribute the 4. This is going to be 4x plus 4h, and then we have minus 5, and then let's distribute the negative sign. So it's going to be negative 3x squared, minus 4x, but plus 5, all divided by h. Now, let's distribute the 3. So it's going to be 3x squared, and then we have 3 times 2xh, which is 6xh, and then plus 3h squared. Now, we could cancel 4x and negative 4x, and we can cancel negative 5 and 5. So we have just 4h, and negative 3x squared. So now we can cancel 3x squared and negative 3x squared. And for the terms that are left over, each term contains an h. So for the remaining three terms, let's take out an h. So this is going to be 6x plus 3h plus 4. And so we can now cancel the h outside of that. So the final answer is 6x plus 4 plus 3h. Or you could say 6x plus 3h plus 4. Doesn't matter. But that's the difference quotient of 3x squared plus 4x minus 5.